The world's last male northern white rhino named Sudan died on March 19th without leaving any offspring. Previous attempts to mate him with either of the last two females of the same subspecies were unsuccessful and they were deemed unable to reproduce. But scientists preserved Sudan's semen for possible artificial insemination. First, though, they have to test the procedure on six female southern white rhinos at the San Diego Zoo. If everything goes well, they plan to use these distant cousins of the northern white rhinos as surrogate mothers for northern white rhino embryos. We want them to have the experience of carrying a fetus to term giving birth and raising a calf, so that in the future, when we have northern white rhino embryos that we're going to implant into these females, we know that they're capable of maintaining pregnancy, giving birth and raising a calf. European bison, a taller relative of American bison, once roamed the old continent from the Iberian Peninsula to eastern Russia. They became extinct in the wild in the 1920s, but a small number were preserved in Poland. Now they are being sent to various European countries, including Spain. So if there are bison in Spain, these bison will adapt to a new flora, fauna, climate, a different form of behavior, different amounts of daylight. Therefore, their genes will be modified. That is, we're going to enrich the species. So a male bison here who was born here and who has different genes will be sent to Poland to enrich the species there. That is the way to ensure the species avoids extinction. California sea otters have the thickest fur of any animal, so there's no wonder that hunting drove these playful carnivores to near extinction. It took legislation by state and federal authorities to save them. The biggest impact was, was essentially eliminating hunting uh, in the early days, uh, and then the population itself has mostly been allowed to uh, expand naturally uh, through just reproduction. Um, and so it's grown from a you know group of about 50 animals up to uh, the current population, which is about 3,000 animals. But conservationists would like those numbers to grow so otters can return to their historic range and restore balance to the coastal ecosystem. George Putich, VOA News.